and not far off the state record, which is really old. We'll keep an eye on those two, the state record from 2009 set by Nick D'Innocenzo. And those guys will be dueling for the next couple of years. Their seed times were two uh, tenths of a second apart from one another. They, they finished two tenths of a second apart in this meet. So that'll be an interesting matchup between those two over the next couple of years in the 100. All now right. we're on to the 500 free in lane three, Sam Beyer of Ashland. Lane four, Jacob Laney of Amherst Pelham. Lane five, Zach Middlestead of Wayland. Lane six, Cole Snyder of Wayland. And lane seven, Diego Sanzone of Manchester Essex. So we'll start to uh, track the splits right here at the first hundred. I was noting this morning, I was taking a look at some of the college championships from last weekend and this weekend. It's incredible how even these 500 swimmers are able yep. to split their races. You know, when you look at the Big Ten champion, you know, as I mentioned, the second 50 was 23-3-6, and their, or that was their third 50, and their 10th 50 was 23-3-8. So really pretty incredible. So we'll put these 25 or these 50 yard segments into little sections and nail the same time over and over. So it's Middlestead right now. I missed this 100, but 126.86, 30.32. So we'll start to have an idea of whether he's going to have a go at that five minute mark. So Middlestead, 157.30, 30 30.44, was it a 30.32? So if he can hold these 30.5s, that'll put him right around the five minute mark. Again, it's this middle hundred that's pretty crucial. No doubt is coach Mike Foley. There he is on the sideline, telling him to step up his kick. 30.56. So again, he is on that five minute pace. Coming up on the 300 here. Like to see him at about a 258. It's 258, 66. 30.8. Doesn't want to get much slower than that. See if he can't bring it back down to about a 30.5. 30.5, 30.5, and 30.0. We'll get him under. All right, 30.99. So falling off that five minute pace a little bit, but still he's seated at a 518. So he's looking at a 16 second drop if he keeps it up. And his teammate, Cole Snyder, is in second. Little ways behind, but he's also on pace to do a best time. All right, 30.81, four minutes, 0.46. So we have seen in the aftermath of the last Olympic games with Bobby Fink crushing his 50, final 50 in the 800 meter and the 1500 meter, people really ramping it up. We saw that this morning yep. as well with our winner Posting a 27 for the final 50. So Middlestead, 431.04 at the bell. He's going to have to come back in a 28.96 to get under five minutes. Coach Foley on the sideline can see it. All right, he turns before the clock sets. He's got 12 seconds to go 20 yards. He's going to be really close. Get under, get under. 
And just going to be a touch over five minutes. Five on one, one six for Middlestead. 18, 17 second drop. He is happy with that swim. Yeah, that's fantastic. And coming in second will be Snyder with a 516. So Whalen with some good times here in the first heat. Jacob Laney in third, Sam Byer in fourth, and Diego Sanzone will finish in fifth. So that 501 would move all the way up to the seventh seed. Second heat. Lane two, Jaden Clayton of Medfield. Lane three, Ben Lyons of Longmeadow. Lane four, Bennett Frank Frankiosi of Foxborough. Lane five, Peter Coleman of Duxbury. Lane six, Jack Madison Galata of Northampton. Lane seven, Cal McDonald of Amherst Pelham. Lane eight, Finn Surratt of Wayland. And lane nine, Stepan Ignatiev of Swampscott. And it is early, but it is Finn Surratt at the wall at 26.73. He's trying to replicate what his teammate just did in the first heat. See if he can get under that five minute mark. Would have to go just over a second faster than his teammate Middlestat did. And at the 100, we're going to have a new leader, and that's going to be Callum McDonald at Amherst, 55-63. And these guys are making it look effortless even though no doubt they, after 150, are already feeling some hurt. It's Cal McDonald again into the wall first after that 50. 125-41, 29-78. So that's good. If he can sit on the 30 point, that'll be under the five minutes. Be in that 455, 456 range. So McDonald, 155-00, 29-59, our only split that was sub-30. So hopefully you can keep that up. And we're starting to see a little bit of a move in lane six here. Let's compare that split to our leader. All right, so again, McCallum, 29.87. So he is still pacing out at about a 4.55. Thought lane six, I thought Madison Galat was making a, Galato was making a bigger move, but not on that 29 pace. So 30.24 for McDonald. That's his first one over 30, but just over. 255.11 at the 300 mark. Coleman, 30.38. So he's starting to bring down his 50s here. Right, 30.14 for McDonald. Still on that 455 pace. Keep it consistent. Maybe bring it back under 30. And Peter Coleman. He's going to be close to the five minute mark. Again, it is a 501.03. That's our fastest time so far. All right, McDonald, 30.57 with 100 yards to go. 355.82. Coleman, 
Coleman splits 30.84, four minutes 85. So again, a shot at getting the sub five. Got to really start to step it up here with 75 to go. The bell for McDonald. All right, 426, 44, 30.62. Get it back under 30. 455 and change. That's what we're hoping for here. That'll be a 15 second drop. And McDonald will touch in at 457.07. Five double zero five four for Peter Coleman. 50655 for Madison Galata. 50899 for Frank Yossi. 51132 for Surratt. 51451 for Lyons. And 51518 for Ignatiev. All right, McDonald. Great swim. 45707. Super consistent with all his splits. Final heat of the 500 free. Another chance for Mitch Doobie to tie or beat a meet record. Lane two, Billy Burke of Whalen. Lane three, Evan Harrington of Belchertown. Lane four, Aiden Mal Malvey of Holliston. Lane five, Mitchell Doobie of Belchertown. Lane six, Teo Bode of Weston. Lane seven, Aiden Acuna Rosa of Mystic Valley. Lane eight, Lucas Haynes of Halston. And lane nine, Elliot Morse of Duxbury. All right, so again, Eric Nielsen of Weston has our meet record at 428.71. He went on to swim at Northwestern. And our state record, Eric Vent, who swam at USC and was an Olympian at 424.35, said all the way back in 1999. So some old records waiting to be beat. And it is Doobie, 50.50. And Baudet next to him at 51.36. 54 is pace out to a 4.30. So we'll start to see how on pace he is very soon. 26.82, Baudet 27.46. And those two are way out ahead of the field. All right, 144.84 for Doobie. 147.02 for Baudet. So that was a 54.3. So if he can hold that, he will do it given that 50.5 coming out. So he can afford to go a little bit slower, but not much. And 27.35. Looking strong, looking strong is Mitchell Dubey. Dubey. 2742, 239, 61. So, if he puts together 255, so he'll be at 429.61. So again, we're looking at 54 and change. Twenty-seven sixty-seven. Right on that fifty-five mark. 
Want to try to be under three thirds. All right, 335. So going to have to be home in a 53. That's a little bit faster than he's been doing, but it's within reach. Fifty four point nine will get him under four thirty. We're on the bell leg. All right, twenty eight four. Get him home. Twenty six forty seven to get under. Come on, Mitchell. Got five seconds. It's gonna be a 435 for Mitch Doobie, 430.50 to Great win swim. the 500 free. Gave it a run at that meet record, but it'll be another year until somebody gets a crack at Eric Nilsson's record. Again, since 2005, that's a long time ago. Teo Bode in second, Aiden Acuna Rosa in third. Another good result for Mystic Valley. Aiden Malvi in fourth, Harrington in fifth, Billy Burke in sixth, and Lucas Haynes in seventh. And Elliot Morris with a 508 to one. All right, good swim, really great swim. So the distance double for Doobie today, the 200 and the 500, both going back to Belchertown. And is that our first double individual? I winner? believe so, yes. We didn't have any earlier today. 